Hey everybody, it's Elliot from Little Punk People here, and today I'm here with the incredible Maria of High Long. And I have to say, I saw your performance last night, and it was incredible. Everyone watching, I highly suggest you go to one of their live shows because it is just plainly beautiful. Are you ready? Yes, I'm so ready. Let's do this. So, how are you doing today? How is the tour going? I am doing very well. I am a bit sore because I was dancing like a crazy person on stage yesterday. It was so much fun and what an amazingly beautiful venue. Uh, yeah. I'm glad you saw it. King's uh, Theatre, it was incredible. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was the fifth show yesterday uh, out of 16. Uh, so yeah, and we are a group of 27 people living together in two buses and it's amazing. Awesome. Your singing voice is beautiful and angelic. It makes me feel better. How do you feel when you're singing, if you can describe it in one word? Tranquil. Great choice. <laughs> Which song from your latest album, Drift, means the most to you? I must say Anuana. Um, when Kai showed me the ancient lyrics, I could just sing it right away. So there was something there, the melody just spoke to me, I guess. And then we managed to make a music video that told the tale of that story. Uh, how we pictured it when we made the song very well. So yeah, that's very close to my heart. Just natural. Yeah. Right into it. Yeah. If your music could heal one thing on this planet, what would you want it to heal? Nature. Especially with climate change and stuff. Yeah. Great choice. If your music took the form of an animal, what animal do you think it would be? I think it would be a unicorn. No. <laughs> uh, a stag. I really see a, a stag in it. Nice. Maybe because of all the antlers, but mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely goat, stag, I can see it. Yeah. If you could live in any time period instead of right now, what period would you choose? Oh, that's a good one. Um, I think ancient times were hard, uh, harder than it is today because today we can get food on the table and we can be warm if we're cold and all that. But if I was living in a warmer climate, I would say the hunter-gatherer Stone Age, uh, just because they were experiencing everything for the first time. And I think it must have been exciting. And imagine if you brought your music to that time period, how incredible it would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think also in that time, they discovered that they had a voice or the voice vocal cords were developed. Mm -hmm. So they went from maybe grunting and uh, uh, until actually being able to sing. And, and imagine hearing someone sing for the first time. That must have been pretty epic. Without a doubt. Your music has helped so many people in life. What records helped you the most in life? Oh, also good question. Um, there's a lot of folk music that I treasure very much. And I think uh, there's a Finnish-Swedish band called Hedningarna. Uh, they play really upbeat and sometimes calm. But you know, there's something about the beats that just grips me and makes me want to dance. And if I feel uh, sad or just need, I, I, I like to put something on that makes me want to dance. So yeah, that helped me a lot. So upbeat music definitely keeps the mood up. Yeah, it does. If you could travel in time to go back and visit the younger version of yourself, what would you say to yourself? Oh, I would say, don't worry, and uh, it's all gonna be fine. And uh, don't stress about finding out who you are, because just live and you will find out. Be yourself. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Since high lung means healing, do you have positive hopes for the Earth and the human race? I do. I see a lot of potential in the human race and I just wish that we would get smarter a bit quicker. But uh, I think we're going there and yeah, there's so many initiatives going on about how to, how to clean the oceans and, and how to make sustainable food sources. And you know, if we can just, you know, skip the whole let's try to be as rich as possible, as fast as possible idea, I have hopes. I do have hopes. Nice. Humans got to evolve and with the planet. Yeah. With all the problems with the planet. Yeah, so. absolutely. What kind of world do you think you'd like to go to after you die? Oh, a world where um, material goods doesn't matter. So you only need to develop your minds and your social skills and artistic talents. So a world where you wake up and the only thing you need to do is learn to play the violin or 
learn how to write a good story or you know to, to be only in the creative bubble and not having to worry about uh, money or clothes or any of the material goods that would be the perfect perfect world i wish life was like that right now right <laughs> how wonderful would that be yeah 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 your songs are beautiful with occasional eeriness and turbulence how do you personally find peace in a dark world we do that through uh, transcending through music in in this way. Uh, it, it's a, it's a soothing place to be when you are in the flow, the creative flow. It's a place where it feels like nothing can harm you because you're making something that's bigger than yourself. So yeah, tranquil, like you said earlier. I, I, uh, yeah, absolutely. If you could have any superhuman power, which power would you choose? Oh, that's a good one. I would choose to be able to fix things that's broken, <laughs> including nature. That is that is a great. That is a great. Right? If the planet could speak to us in one sentence using English words, what do you think it would say? Help me. <laughs> right? Yeah, but I I, th I think it would send out a, a a plea of like stop stop polluting stop uh, throwing stuff in nature that will never go away stop making single-use plastic that cannot be used for anything else we have to think in the circular way right like get a get yourself a coffee cup and carry it around so you don't have to use the single stuff and yeah yeah no i really i really would feel that the, the earth is it's crying a bit for help right now do you think people would listen I think 50% would listen, and those 50% have to convince the rest to listen. Well, I mean, like 50% of the world, if they all put it together, I honestly think there could be real, real change. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Absolutely. That's, that, would, that would solve a lot. So everyone watching this... <laughs> Tell your friend. Yes. <laughs> I love the beautiful dreamy landscapes in your music videos. What kind of dreams do you usually have? Oh, I dream uh, a lot of uh, flying. <laughs> it's weird. I have this okay, reoccurring dream where I'm, I'm standing and I can like with the, my mind, I can slowly lift myself up and I can hover. And, and then I normally wake up before it gets really exciting. But I'm always like, oh my God, I'm hovering, I'm hovering. And then I wake up. It's, yeah. What would you do if you started hovering while you were singing live? Oh, that's like my biggest dream ever. Like my voice is, ah, and then I would like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I would, um, that, that would be an epic moment. Flying over <laughs> the, the, the people yeah. while singing with them like yes. that would just be incredible. Yeah, I, I would kind of be a little panicked. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I think because I've been dreaming it so much, I think I would take it very natural. Just yeah, go with it. I would just go with it. Yeah. That would be probably a wonderful experience. Right. Do you think that there are better planets in the universe that we don't know about? Would you rather live there if you could? Mm, it depends. If they have this uh, thing where you don't care about material goods, but you can only do creativity all day long, I might consider moving. But uh, I do love the planet that we are on right now. I think the nature and the diversity of both people and plants and animals and and yeah creativity i mean i, I don't know maybe this is unique for for us uh, who knows so yeah but i do think there's other planets out there the universe is just so big it has to be right yeah, it has to be there's no way and also i mean you could be a part of the healing of this world yeah 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 it would be like yeah it would be uh, cowardice to, yeah. to just live without yeah well, let, yeah yeah exactly leaving uh, leaving everything in a mess behind like nah let's fix this yes i'm with you on that you seem like such a nice human being how do you stay positive in such a crazy world i do because i focus on the beauty around and it's uh it's like you you, you do really have a choice you can see uh, see the darkness or you can see see the light like of course it's good to be aware that there are dark spots that could do with some fixing uh, but i think to stay positive helps to fix the dark stuff so I, w I would always say like try even though it's sometimes it's really hard and maybe you're living a really really rough life or someone you love are ill or there's many occasions to be to be sad but then you know you will help your surroundings better if you yourself can stay positive and there is so much good out there so if you can 
try to angle your consciousness in that direction, give you strength to handle dark stuff in your life. I completely agree with you on that. All right, for these, you're just going to say if you believe in them or not. Okay. Ghosts. Yes. Nice. Aliens. Yes. Hell. No. Reincarnation. Yes. Karma. Yes. Heaven. No. Magic. Yes. Bigfoot. Yes. Of course. I hope there's Bigfoot. Yes, me too. I, I hope may, maybe Bigfoot's helping the earth, you know? Who knows? Hanging out in nature? Yeah. yeah. I would love to hang out with Bigfoot. Yeah, definitely. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I think you asked amazing questions and I think that you're on a good track of, uh, yeah, of, of, of talking about uh, big questions in life uh, with, uh, with the younger gen generation. Uh, salute you for that. Thank you so much and thank you for providing us beautiful art and music. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hope you have a good hug? Yeah. Awesome. Once again, check out Hylong. Watch them live. They are incredible.